Coast by 11 here, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, here's uh, we we got a got a we got two special missions that we need to do today. Oh, that's how you tell the time. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Now, there is a particular reason why I needed to know this. Here's why, because my my friend, Katana, y'all know her, she informed me of two particular easter eggs I could go and find right now. And she told me how to do them and I want to see them. Um, so, the first one is a ghost in the marshlands, which, if I remember correctly, is a pretty much where I is. Ish. Let's see here. Blue water marsh. There we go. It's underneath. Between the B and L of blue water marsh. So basically, it's right here for the ghost. Now, the other thing is the devil himself. That's right. The devil himself. Which requires me to go to the far west side of the map of North Elizabeth, which is territory I have not uncovered. So that that one's probably going to have to wait a little bit. But this ghost one we can go ahead and see right fucking now. But I have to see it between midnight and four. It only happens once per night, so I gotta go now if I'm going. Yep. Oh, just to make sure that I don't get fucked over here. Okay, riding out the dead and night. No one knows what we'll find. I see a camp, some light out in the distance. I'm going to ignore it because I would like to see this ghost. And the only reason I have my gun out is on the off chance I get jumped while I'm out here because let's be fair here that can fucking happen and I would like to be prepared oh well, there's another camp right there okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and holster that No. He's just gonna have to suffer. I need that health cure. Okay. Also, I'm gonna have to start remembering to make sure I have my good weapons so that what happened the last time doesn't happen again. Oh hey, it's the three little pigs. That's probably just an incidental thing, not something I actually, not an actual, like, Easter egg. Oh, there's no one there. Or, like a brief moment, I could have swore I saw legs, but 
That's probably just me. How much further do I have to go? Not much further. Well, it's midnight. It's almost two. So I got like two hours to get there. <coughs> we'll just consider this <coughs> paranormal investigation. Take one. Will I successfully make it? Come on. What the hell are you doing? We are trying to see ghosts, Twinkie. We don't need need you. Easy. It is that it, or is that just a rock? That's. Yeah. Wait, is that it? The fuck is that? Is that a... No. There we go. Everybody wants to capture my attention. Off the off chance this gets ugly. And I need to kill something. Well. I'm here. Did I make it in time? Yeah, I did. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, that's an alligator. Fucking gators. Well, I don't see the ghost. But you're not supposed to get too close, so I think I messed up. I do still see that gator, and. Wait, what? Hold up. What the f What the fuck is going on over there? Some bitch crying. You good? Where are you? You hurt? Wait, is this the ghost? Is that him? You okay, ma'am? You need some help? Man, you all right? Okay. Ma'am? You okay, ma'am? Talk. Um...
Oh my fuck! Creepy bastards. The fuck? What the hell? What the actual fuck did I get myself into? This was a random ass encounter. So like Oh well. Well we didn't see the ghost. So that's that's a shame, but yeah. That's perfectly fine. Well, now we can get to actual shit we were supposed to do. So let's see, we got Hosea to find joys of tobacco. Dutch told you to meet up with Hosea and Sean at Braithwaite Manor while they investigate uh, ingratiate themselves. Molly O'Shea. Dutch Vanderland. Dutch asks you to find out more about the bounty hunters that Charlani mentioned. John Marston. Dutch told you to meet up with John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Brave Blades prized horses. Okay, so I want to see what Molly wants. And then I'll worry about uh, continuing this storyline we got going here with the greys and the Braithwaites, modern day or old western Romeo and Juliet oh now I think about it a good possibility is for the ghost the story wise is in all likelihood she was one of the people who died here or he could could be a he I'm not actually certain all I know is, those swamp people were fucking creepy as shit. I mean, Jesus. Let this be a lesson, folks. If you see a woman in white, kneeling in the swamp, crying, you leave her be. Because that shit is not worth it. I'm probably gonna have to head back there at some point. Don't know when I'll go back to try to go see again. Probably after I finish the main story. Because once you finish the main story, then you can just run around, do the side quests that it gives you. Sightsee any Easter eggs that you just may or may not know about. Which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. Whether I film that or not is honestly de ter determinant at this point in time. And person shooting? Do I give a damn? Not currently. As it is probably just a, a, another one of those aha, I bet I, you can, I can beat you in a shooting contest and we all know how that goes. I lose, I get upset, I kill the guy. It's 
just what I do. I mean, say what you want about me, but... I am definitely a sore loser. I just realized I ain't talking in a southern accent, and I should probably be talking in a southern accent. Otherwise, it ruins my motif. Almost back to camp. Actually, it is back to camp. Okay. So it looks like. Can I have a quick word? Yeah, you can have a quick word. Just give me a second. Hello, Molly. Um. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? Good question. How does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. Good for you. He, like he always says. Loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with him. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Uh, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train, very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Well, Arthur, I hate to be the one to tell you, but you miserable bastards. Uncle ain't dying till till Red Dead Redemption One. I tried that once. Like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it? You scoped here exactly. Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Well, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. Wind. Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. You say this. There. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> you know, Charles, you say no one needs to die, but... I beg to differ. Sometimes people just need to die. Shot, but this is a mistake. 
I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> yeah, we've we've uh we've robbed him once before. Share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay. Why don't you check out around the back? Good on you, Charles. Check the boxes at the back, Arthur. Oh, okay. Got it. Let's just uh search this. Some more casual stealing from Cornwall. Oh, hey. hey, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go, Arthur! Oh, for love. Yeah. For the love of. Hold R3 to look behind your horse at my pursuers. Oh Jesus Christ. Ride, Come on. I'm riding, I'm riding. Bye. I could shoot him. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Am I, like, supposed to shoot back or something? Because... Because, I mean... Okay. Okay. Get out of here. Go on, Twinkie. I'll see you later. Alright. Let's get out of sight. Stay until dark. And then we'll sneak. At least I got my guns. Charles, you keep watching now. Sure. Well, we uh get some rest. God damn it, Uncle. Try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I ain't in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Okay. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? Uh huh. Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Right, right. Tell me what you heard. I don't. Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. No, god damn it. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Hello. Go check out the, the barn. Sir. Son of a bitch. We're gonna have to kill somebody, aren't we? Here they come. Their lanterns are not lit. They are holding them like they are, but they're not. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Shit.
place looks empty to me. The old guy up there is full of crap. Okay. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! What the f actual fuck, Charles? God damn it, Charles. It did not let me shoot. Look, I am trying my best here. What the fuck? Oh god. Oh lord. Let's just hope we don't run out of bullets. Nicely done, Bill. They teach you that move in the army too. Can't you keep your back feet still for ten goddamn seconds? You got us into this. Oh my lord. Jesus fucking Christ. This is some bullshit. Oh my lord. Why are there so many? Why is there a fire? Damn it, only shot his hat. Fucking Christ. Um, okay, out this way we go. Go, 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 go. Jesus fucking Christ, this is stupid. You know, Uncle. Where are we going, Bill? We'll try to lose him in the woods. It is really dark. Please split up a bit. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. Okay. I mean, I need to take out my knife. Cause I'm thinking this means I need to take out my knife. Not yet. Fuck you. Well, 
Not everyone can apparently be as stealthy as I can. How'd that not kill him? Oh, apparently it did. Usually it makes a... D does a... thing? But I guess not this time. Yeah, it does that. It grays out the screen. For like a split second. I am trying, you guys are get y'all are in my way. You won't make it out You balls are a joke. Well shit. He gets right here, I think. Fuck. Okay. Maybe right here? Yes. So we good? Some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Glonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Glonk. Run quick. Good luck, Jones. Stay quiet and move. God damn it. Last thing I needed was that motherfucker. But a new thing popped up, I think. Oh no, it was just the Billy Midnight thing. Oh, there's a new main quest, though. Lenny. Lenny needs the preaching forgiveness as he went. Hmm. Okay, well. I want to do the John Marston mission. Actually, I'm going to reunite with my horse real quick. Fuck were those? Not my issue. Okay. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What the fuck? The fuck is that guy? Lancaster repeater, double barrel shotgun. Come on, girl. Oh, he's coming down. What the hell was he doing up there? Oh shit, fuck. God damn it. Every time that happens, I get wanted for something I didn't probably do. Motherfucker. God. Actual goddamn it. Uh, uncle. Now I gotta pay money to get a goddamn bounty off my head. What is this? Actually, what time is it? Yeah, I would not... Actually, where am I? In contract... Yeah, I would not make it. Oh, there's the... There's the lawman. 
head in there. So I travel on the absolute other side. Alright. Oh hey! More pigs. Wait a minute. Is that the pig farm that I blew up and then murdered the owner of? Yeah, I guess I'll settle down one of these days. Must have been. Alright. Let's go ahead and get into town real quick. It's a lovely night. So this game is a little creepy at night, not gonna lie. Cannot use weapons, so I'm finally back in this zone. Which is unfortunate. Oh, I'm at Cal Cali Caliga. Caligula. Caliga. Caliga, I think it's Caliga. And this is where I'm gonna end it off. Like, comment, subscribe for more Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'll see y'all next time.